Okay, so now let's do part C of the exercise about normal logic programs of the introduction part of the course. So let's write first here the atoms that occur in the program. We have dress, shirt. Ah, I have to use the, the, the two first letters of the words. Dress, shirt, sandals, sneakers, pants, and skirts. We have these six atoms. Let me check. Yes, this is all we have. Good, so then let's do as before, but now let's do everything at the same time. We are going to be building directly the, the interpretations that can be a stable model. And at the end, we are going to check whether they indeed are stable models. So this means that basically we are going to use the properties about what is a model, and this other property that tells us that if there's an atom in a stable model, then there must be some proof of it in the reader. Let's get to it. So initially, we cannot deduce anything just looking at this program. So then let's reason by cases as we do. So let's look for some models where the shirt does not occur. And on the other hand, let's look for models where shirt indeed does occur. So on the left side, if we do not have shirt, then this will disappear from the redact. So this, this, is, um, this body is satisfied, so we can derive dress. And let's look for more things about, more rules about shared. So if shared does not occur there, then we should have dress uh, just for the interpretation to be a model. But indeed we have dress because we have just derived it before. Good, let's look for more occurrences of shared. So shared occurs here. So this rule is satisfied because uh, uh, shared occurs in the body, but not in the set that we are looking at. And shared does not occur anything else, so nothing to reason about it. Now, let's think about dress. Dress occurs in the first two rules. Nothing to do there. And it also occurs here, so it allows us to derive sandals. So for an interpretation to be a model, if it has dress, it should also have sandals. And then this rule is satisfied and dress does not occur any, anywhere else. So then we can consider now these sandals. Sandals are here, but they do not fire the, the rule because shirt is not there. And, um, but okay, here, we have not sandal, but sandals appears there. So, the rule is satisfied and indeed it appear it uh, it does not occur in the reader right so when we have not sandals and sandals is in our set then this rule will disappear from the reader and it is the case also that the rule is satisfied because yes you know it at this point i think you know it and um, then also sandals of course in this head so the rule is satisfied and uh, I think this is all we can reason about sandals. Now, if we look at the program, we can see that um, we have assigned the value to shirt, dress, sandals. And what else do we have? We have sneakers. We have pants. And we also have a skirt here. Right? Sneakers, pants, and a skirt. Okay, good. So now um, let's reason a bit, uh, taking into account this idea of the proof. So, um, if, uh, and let's consider a model that doesn't have shirt, it has dress, and it has sandals. So, if we are a bit clever, we can say, okay, for a sneakers to be in a stable model, there must be some proof for it. So there must be some rule that can give it to us in the reader. But the only rule that could give us sneakers has vanished from the reader because we have sandals. We are looking for interpretation where sandals appears there. So then there's no way to prove sneakers. So then we know that if we do not have 
um, shirt and we have dress, sandals, then also we cannot have sneakers. But then what happens is that this rule doesn't fire. And then we can do a similar reasoning, type of reasoning with pants. So if pants is going to belong to a, sta to the, to a stable model, then it should be justified by a proof uh, on the uh, of the redact. But if a sneakers is not going to belong to the stable model, there's not, there's not going to be a way to prove in this stable model the atom pants. So therefore, pants must be false. And a similar reasoning can be applied to what was left here. This was a skirt, right? So a skirt must have a proof to be in the stable model. But for that, the, that proof, we must have a proof for shirt and for sandals. But this shirt does not, uh, will not be part of the interpretation that we want to check. Hence, there is no way that we can prove a scat. So a scat has to be false. Right, and now we have assigned values to all atoms, so then we can check whether this dress and sandals is indeed a stable model of this program. So now let's do the redact. So we do not have shirt, so this is deleted. We do have dress, so this rule is deleted. We do not have sneakers, so this is deleted. And we indeed have sandals, so the whole reel is deleted. And then we are left with the first fact about dress, the second fact about sandals. And so this allows us to derive dress and sandals. So with this, we get dress and sandals. With the first, sorry, with the first two rules, we derive dress and sandals. And then, yeah, with dress, we get sandals here again. So nothing new. And we cannot fire these two rules. So this is what we obtain, which equals what we had. And then we know that this is indeed a stable model. Right? So what we have done here is to compute the consequences of P with respect to X. These are these two atoms if we call, if we say that this is X, right? Good, so then let's move on now with the other side, looking for uh, stable models that contain the atom shirt. And uh, let me clean this a bit. So we don't need this, and but we can just paint here that this is a stable model. And now I will myself clean the program there and then we continue. That's it. So now let's uh, move on and find the, the, the models, sorry, the stable models that contain this atom shirt. So if we have shirt, let's reason about this. If we have shirt, then this rule will disappear from the read. And then if we have shirt, look, we can reason here. If we, if we have shirt, then there must be some proof from it in the redact. So then it cannot be the case that dress belongs to, an inter to a stable model that also has shirt. Because if dress belongs to the, inter to the stable model, then this disappears of the redact and there's no way to prove shirt. So then dress must be false in any stable model that contains shirt. So then, then we can do this kind of, of deduction here using this property that every atom has a proof in the redact. Good, and then this rule is satisfied. So now let's see whether this shirt occurs somewhere else. So it's here. And uh, yeah, but this doesn't allow us to, to, to derive anything else. So now let's think about dress. Dress appears here, there, and also here. So then this means that this rule is satisfied, but we cannot derive anything else. For, we still can find some proof from sandals if it turns out that we have that the sneakers is false, for example. Good. So I think then we have to keep moving and and make another <clears throat> and and make another guess on some on some other atoms or reason again by by cases on some other atoms. 
let me move this here and okay something that i have not to uh, told you is i'm the atoms on which i decide here on these two sides to to sorry the decision that i made here to look for a stable models without shared and with shared is um was a kind of random decision so i could have chosen any atom to do this kind of reasoning and it is always the case the way i'm proceeding what i'm always saying is look if there's going to be an stable model it either will have this atom or it will not have it but there it doesn't matter which atom i choose for the reasoning to work right good so let's move on okay so then we can for example go with sneakers and well, basically what i'm doing is i'm following the programs but the 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 atoms the um i follow the occurrences of the atoms in the program but i could now choose for example a scat for it but let's go with this sneakers so i have not sneakers and sneakers on this side so let's go first on this side here so if a sneaker does not belong to a stable model sandals must belong to it because because the stable models are models of the program so sandals and okay and with this rule if we do not have sneakers we should have sandals so so yes okay then and actually in the reader this disappears from the reader because we have sandals now with this rule given that we do not have sneakers this rule is satisfied and that's it for sneakers and then for using sandals okay but now something interesting that's it for sneakers but what we know now is that there is no way to prove pants right because if we are going to have um, <clears throat> an unstable model that contains pants then there must be some proof of it in the redact but in the redact we are not going to generate sneakers if if the interpretation is going to be an actual model right so we are checking we are looking for interpretations that satisfy these literals right so what we know is that if an interpret if a if an interpretation satisfies not sneakers then it cannot be a stable model sorry if it so if it doesn't have sneakers then it cannot have pants because if it has pants then this must be derived some, somehow and for this it would need also to have derived sneakers before but if it derived sneakers then the interpretation the the result the consequences will not coincide with the interpretation that we wanted to check hence we know that pants cannot be in a stable model that also contains that does not contain sneakers so we can add this already here good and then let's think a moment now the only atom that we still have to assign a value is this skirt and actually we have shirt and we have sandals here so we must have a skirt and then the rule is satisfied so then we can go through all the rules and we will see that they all are satisfied so this is indeed a model of the program and now we would like to check whether this is stable then for doing this reasoning let's let's do for checking this let's do the redact so here we have already this deleted and then here we do not have the dress so this goes away we do not have sneakers so this goes away and we have sandals then the 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 consequences of the redact are shirt sandals and with shirt and sandals i get skirt and then i don't I have a way now to get the sneakers or dress so this is it and actually this coincides with what we had before right the sneakers sandals and shirt so then we know that this is a, a 
this here is a, a stable model of the logic program. Good. So then let me clean this a bit and then we continue. Okay, that's it. So let's go through this other side where we have shirt and sneakers. So with sneakers, then we know that this rule will disappear from the redact and uh, what else? So with the sneakers here, we can derive pants and then the rule is satisfied and sneakers does not occur anywhere else. And um, okay, and now with pants, we cannot derive anything else either. So, okay, now let's try to get something else from this idea that every atom requires a proof. So here we have sneakers. Then for to, uh, if sneakers is going to belong to a stable model, then there must be some proof for it. And the only way for proving it is using this rule because there's no, there will be no other rule in the redirect because there's no other rule for sneakers in the program. So then it must be the case that sandals is false. Because if it is true, then this disappears from the redact and uh, sneakers cannot belong to a stable model. So then we can use this type of reasoning to derive that sandals must be false, right? And then this is deleted from the redact and we get sneakers. And this is the place where we can, can derive sneakers. And then if sandals does not belong to the set, then this rule is satisfied and um, now the only atom that is left to be assigned is this sket, right? And now what happens is that the only rule that we could use to derive a sket is this with shirt and sandals, but sandals is not there. So right, if, if there's a stable model that doesn't have sandals, it cannot have a sket because there's no going to way, uh, there is no going to be a way that derives a skirt without deriving sandals. So then we can conclude that a skirt has to be false. So then we have assigned values to all the atoms. So let's check whether this um, <coughs> interpretation is indeed a stable model of the program. So let's do the redact. And um, here, given that we have shared, this goes away. We do not have dress, so the element at the, literally in the body goes away. Here we have a sneakers, so this all goes away. We do not have sandals, so this is simplified. And that's it for the reader, right? And now what we can do is we get shirt and sneakers from here. And with the sneakers, we get pants. Let me write it here. No, we, with the second rule, we get shirt. Shirt, sorry. With the fourth one, we get the sneakers. And with the fifth one, we get the pants. And then we are left just with these two that do not give us anything else, right? Because we do not have the sandals, we do not have the dress. So this is it. And this coincides with the atoms, uh, the ad with what we had before, shirt, sneakers, and pants. So then we know that this represents a stable model. Good, then we can conclude we have these three stable models. Dress, sandals on one side and on the other shirt, sandals, skirt, and shirt, sneakers, and pants. Okay, this was it. Let's move to the next one.